Countries pushing for land reforms have also raised concerns about the future of indigenous land groups. With growing pressure to free up land for development, the people are also said to be losing land. That was highlighted at a forum. It was the Melanesian Indigenous Land Defence Alliance held in the Solomon Islands. Mickey Cavera was at the forum. Youths from the Melanesian countries of Fiji, PNG, Solomon Islands and Vanuatu ventured out of their comfort zones to redefine issues affecting land in their various countries. They travelled for 12 hours to Isabel province in the Solomon Islands to be part of the Melanesian Indigenous Land Defence Alliance or MILDA Youth Based Conference. Our perception, appreciation of things and ideas may differ. The conference was opened by Bishop of Isabel Anglican Diocese, Alison Quitty. Bishop Quitty, in his opening remarks, called for a united Melanesia. Things and ideas may differ. But the one thing that we have to deal with is living together. <coughs> The theme, My Land, My Future, resonates throughout Melanesia, where 80% of land is customary owned. However, with growing pressure to free up land for development, indigenous landowners are faced with the reality of losing their land. Milder coordinator and indigenous land rights advocate Joel Simo is critical of land reforms affecting landowners. A lot of our governments are pushing for land reforms in the region. Now, for us indigenous people, you don't reform land because land is static. It cannot change. You may not manage to reform all the time. For generations, Isabel province has been a logging township. However, the people have not benefited much from their land and resources. And with the prospect of nickel mining in 2018, Rajumana is concerned about the future of his people. For many of the youths, the conference provided an outlet for them to express their feelings about their experiences the in their own morning. land. That's what the resource owners or custodians are asking for whenever we have the option there to have mining or logging. Also, it gave them a glimpse into the struggles of their Melanesian counterparts in creating a better future for their people. The struggle is real and milder. Elders believe the youths will take on the fight to challenge their governments and developers on issues affecting their land. The youths left the Isabel province with a desire to make a change in their own countries. I mean, I think... As a young person, I realize that it is good that we have to really go into the community to see how people are living their real life. So that when we happen to be campaigners for change, we have to be inclusive of every society, regardless of what we do in the I can't wait to take what I learned back in Guala, take it back to Fiji and so I can... Uh, Empower the youths in my village, in the Maritime Islands, so we can look out and uh, safeguard our, our resources that are being threatened by external resources. The people that we need to stay and stand, hold to where we are before, where our ancestors are, they working together as one people in unity, in a community. When the foreigners came, the duties of working to oneness in a community are not found. A 12-point declaration adopted during the conference will be presented to various governments once finalized in June. Mickey Cavera ending today's edition of PNG Tonight. 
If you have any comments or feedback on any of our stories, please visit our website at pngtonight.com. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again at the same time tomorrow night. Good night.